Hi friends. Today, today my topic is living. All living organisms are need some basic requirements for their survival. Food is the basic requirement, which provides energy, organic material for growth and repairing the tissues. Water we drink is most essential constituent of life. It provides, it prevents, prevents dehydration in body. Food gives some nutrients. They are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, minerals, vitamins, and water. Vitamins, minerals, and water are absorbed by the cells directly. But carbohydrates, fats, and proteins are not absorbed by the cells directly in their original form because they are bio macromolecular substances. These, due to the absorption of the cell, these bio macromolecular substances is convert into simple substances. The, the pro, this process is carried out in an organ system that is known as digestive system. The digestion plays both mechanical and biochemical process. Conversion of the macromolecular substances into simple substances is known as digestion and otherwise known as hydrolysis. Let me know in detail about the human digestive system. Human digestive system. Human digestive system is consists of alimentary canal and associated glands. Alimentary canal. Let me know in detail about the alimentary canal. Alimentary canal is consists of anterior opening mouth, anterior opening mouth, and posterior and anus. Between the mouth and anus, some organs are present. They are buccal cavity, pharynx. Esophagus, stomach, small intestine, this is the small intestine, and large intestine. Let me know in detail about the first part of the alimentary canal, the buccal cavity. Mouth is bordered with movable upper and lower lip. It is, there is a plate which separates the, there is a plate which separates the upper nasal chamber from lower buccal cavity. There is a plate which separates the upper nasal chamber from lower buccal cavity called Palate. Called palate. The anterior heart bony palate is lined by the palate palatine rubra, and posterior soft palate is hangs down into the pharynx. It is known as uvula. The jawbone base with four kinds of teeth 
and your tongue. Let me know in detail about the teeth. Teeth is ectomesodermal in origin. These teeth are these teeth are embedded in the sockets of jawbone. These are the sockets of jawbone. These are the sockets. These teeth are embedded in the sockets of jawbone. This type of dentition is known as. Teeth are done today. Teeth are done. The human beings have two sets of teeth in their lifetime. One is milk dentition, and it is replaced by the permanent dentition. This having the two sets of Teeth in the lifespan is known as diphyodont dentition. They are the adult human beings have four different types of teeth. They are incisors, canines. Premolar and molar. Having these four different types of teeth is known as heterodont dentition. Heterodont. Heterodont dentition. Heter. That's the. There is the arrangement of the different types of teeth in each half side of the jawbone. Each half of the jawbone. That means incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. These are in order is represented as dental formula. Dental formula. Dental formula of adult is dental formula of baby is equal to two one zero two by two one zero two. That means two inches of one canine, zero premolar, and two molar. In each half of the jawbone. Upper side is two one two one zero two two one zero two two plus one plus two is equal to five and lower side two plus one plus two is equal to five. This is the one side and another side is also having in upper part have five five teeth and lower part have five teeth. Total teeth is are twenty. This is known as milk dentition. Dental formula of adult. Two one two three by two one two three. Two inches of one canine, two premolar, and three molar. Two inches of One canine, three premolar, two premolar, and three molar. In in one half of upper part is two plus one plus two plus three is equal to eight, and lower part is eight. And other side is total is equal to thirty-two. This is known as adult dentition. The third molar teeth is a 
was very late at above the age of 21 so it is called as wisdom teeth wisdom teeth these incisors are in chisel shaped used for cutting canines are in dagger shaped used for tearing premolars and molars are used for grinding and chewing let me know in detail about the structure of tooth Tooth. tooth is divided into three parts. They are crown, neck, and root. This is crown, this is neck, and this is root. Crown is exposed part, neck is middle part, and roots are embedded in the socket of jawbone. The major part of the teeth is. formed by an hardest substance it is known as dentine dentine is saturated from the odontoblast of mesodermal in origin these dentine is these dentine is covered with an hardest substance covered with an hardest substance it is known as enamel it is saturated from the ameloblast of ectodermal in origin ectodermal in origin the tooth are embedded in the socket of jawbone this dentition is known with, with the help of periodontal membrane and cementum within the teeth one cavity is present it is known as pulp cavity this is known as The basal part, the basal part of the teeth is covered with an gum, and otherwise it is known as gingiva, and otherwise it is known as let me know in detail about the structure of tongue. is a freely movable muscular organ it is present at floor of the buccal cavity by a folded tissue called frenulum this is known as frenulum at the surface of the tongue it is bare with some projection called papillae these papillae some papillae are bare with taste buds some papillae are bare with taste buds papillae is divided into three parts they are fungiform papillae form papillae and circumvalent papillae 
longiform papillae is present at anterior margin and tip of the tongue. Filiform papillae is present at surface of the tongue. And circumvallet papillae is present at posterior surface of the tongue. Tongue acts as an universal toothbrush. Tongue acts as an universal toothbrush. It is used for mixing saliva with food, taste detection, deglutition, and for speaking. Let me know in detail about the next part of the alimentary canal, the, the pharynx. Let me know in detail about the pharynx. Buccal cavity leads into the buccal cavity is leads into the short pharynx. Short pharynx. Pharynx is acts as common passage for food and air. It acts as common passage for food and air. And the pharynx is divided into three parts. They are Nasopharynx is present at above the soft plate, and oropharynx is the middle part, and laryngopharynx is hangs down to the hang, la, lower part. The pharynx, esophagus, and trachea leads into the pharynx. When the trachea leads into the pharynx, through a slit called glottis. The glottis, there is a, a cartilaginous flap, a cartilaginous flap called epiglottis, which prevents the entry of food into the entry of food into the glottis while swallowing. Entry of food into the glottis while swallowing. The pharynx possesses some voluntary muscles to assist the swallowing. This there are the lymphoid organs which are divided into three types. There are pharyngeal tonsils, a pair of lingual tonsils, and pair of palatine tonsils. Let me know in detail about the next part of the alimentary canal, the esophagus. Esophagus is a thin, long tube. It is extends posteriorly through the neck, thorax, and diaphragm. It extends posteri posteriorly through the neck, thorax, and diaphragm. This esophagus is open into the stomach. Opening of the esophagus into the stomach, the regulate cardiac splinter is regulate the opening of esophagus into the stomach. Let me know in detail about the structure of stomach. J-shaped, 
indispensable bag like structure it is distinguished into three parts they are cardiac region anterior cardiac region middle long pudic region and posterior pyloric region pyloric pyloric region is leaks into the first part of the small intestine it leaks into the first part of the small intestine through a aperture called pyloric aperture and this aperture is guarded by a sphincter called pyloric sphincter this regulates the entry of food from small intestine let me know in detail about the structure of small intestine. small intestine is the longest part of the longest part of the alimentary canal and it is absorbed from and it is absorbed the absorbable digested food particles then it is distinguished into three parts they are proximal duodenum middle coiled jejunum Duodenum receives hepatopancreatic duct from liver and pancreas. This is the duodenum. and it is received by hepatopancreatic duct from liver liver and duodenum and pancreas the last part ileum is the last part ileum is leaks into the large intestine let me know in detail about the large intestine Large intestine is divided into three parts. They are cecum, colon, and rectum. This is the cecum. Cecum is the small blind sac which hosts the symbiotic bacteria. A finger-like tubular projection arises from the cecum. A finger-like tubular projection arises from the cecum. It is known as vermiform appendix. There is no role in the digestion. This vermiform appendix has no role in the digestion so it is considered as vestigial organ cecum is leaks into the colon colon is divided into three parts they are ascending part transverse part and descending part at last there is a sigmoid colon a 
at last there is a six mile column which opens continuous behind rora rectum which opens continuous rora rectum the colon has external bulged pouches the colon has external bulged pouches called hafra rectum is opens into the anal canal it is a black small dilated blind tract it opens into the anal canal through the anus this anal canal is guarded by a internal anal sphincter external anal sphincter internal anal sphincter is formed by the this internal anal sphincter is formed by the smooth muscle voluntary muscles the large intestine has no role in the digestion large intestine has no role in the digestion it is considered of absorption of some excess water salt minerals and other certain drugs absorb large intestine produce some mucus this large intestine is produce some mucus to lubricating the extend passage of undigested food particles through extend passage of undigested food food particles through anus this large intestine has no significant role in the digestion and it produce some mucus to lubricating the extend passage of undigested food particles through the anus Coiled jejunum and ileum. 